okay now uh, the next hormone is the glucagon uh, is uh, it is secreted by the alpha cells of the islet of langerhans of pancreas and stimulus is opposite to that of insulin that is a fall in the blood glucose level that will uh, stimulate the release of glucagon and it is uh, polypeptide in nature and it is a hyperglycemic hormone and it is also called that the hormone of fasting because in fasting uh, we uh, there should be glycogenolysis we need glucose uh, in fasting state for our daily activities to carry out and that glucose is provided by the uh, glucagon we'll see how then what are the metabolic effects of um, glucagon on carbohydrates it causes breakdown of glycogen so it enhances glycogenolysis and um, uh, so the glucose formation is increased and it also causes increased gluconeogenesis in liver so both these uh, processes uh, they uh, increase the blood glucose level um it uh, transport amino acids into the liver so it takes parts in the gluconeogenesis now both insulin and the glucagon they enhance amino acid transport in liver but in case of insulin it causes uh, protein synthesis from those amino acids while the glucagon it increases gluconeogenesis cause the formation of new glucose and what is the mechanism of action the glucagon comes and it activates uh, the adenyl cyclase causing the formation of cmp so it acts through the second messenger system and then the protein kinase uh, from it from inactive state it becomes activated and then uh, uh, the enzyme phosphorylase b uh, it is activated to phosphorylase a and then what happened that uh, glycogen is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate and then glucose 6 uh, phosphate is uh, it is converted into glycogen to phosphorylated glucose and then the glucose is dephosphorylated and then glucose is released from the liver cells that is how it uh, promotes Uh, formation of glucose okay now uh, as far as the uh, effect on the lipids are concerned it is a lipolytic hormone it increases the concentration of free fatty acids and uh, uh, on protein synthesis it inhibits hepatic protein synthesis and increases catabolism of proteins so this is the uh, interaction between the insulin and the glucagon that when there is again the stimulus is the increased blood glucose level when there is increased blood glucose uh, beta cells from the islets of langerhans they will increase the insulin secretion and it will uh, lower the blood glucose to normal and there will be no release of glucagon and when there is again uh, due to the uh, action of insulin uh blood glucose level it will remain normal and when it decreases below normal then what happen alpha cells it releases glucagon and glucagon through its effects of glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis it increase the blood glucose level to normal and what are the factors which regulate glucagon secretion there are two important factors that is the increased blood glucose level uh, increased blood glucose it inhibit glucagon secretion or in other way we can say that the decreased blood glucose level it increases glucagon secretion and uh, the second one is the increased blood amino acids stimulate glucagon secretion here you can see this is the similarity between the glu glucagon and insulin that both secretions are increased by increased blood amino acids but what happen that uh, glucagon uses these amino acids for uh glucose synthesis and insulin uses these amino acids for protein synthesis so that is all for today thank you so much students